at once. Of course. Apologies. I didn't see you standing there. What can I do for you? Or was there something I was supposed to do for you? Perhaps. Yes, yes, I think I would have remembered you. Uh, I'm sure of it, I think. Introductions? Of course, introductions. Sometimes the ideas will start rattling around in my head, and I'll wake up to find I'm somewhere else. Or talking to someone else. My name's Fiddlebender. Oswald, that is. Well, Fiddlebender's my last name. My first name is Oswald, so it's Oswald Fiddlebender. A pleasure to meet you. Ship? Oh, you mean this one here? You mean my airship? Yes, yes, indeed, it's mine. Beautiful, isn't it? Didn't know which ship you meant at first, for there are many common ships about. But this one is quite extraordinary. Most ships travel upon the water. This one, however, travels upon the air. Indeed it does. It was wondrous. Well, before it crashed in Targos. I flew it all the way from Kaldahar, you know. Why, I live in Kaldahar with my niece, Marily. I mean, well, I set up shop there after I landed in town. Well, crashed, really, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> 
There's an awful lot of mountains around Kuldahar. Very confusing to fly through. Or around. It's hard to steer the ship when I'm in the lab, I've discovered. Oh, didn't I tell you? But I must have. Why, I make potions. I mean, well, among other things, I'm an inventor. I make things. And potions. Did I say that? Not often. Very dangerous, some of them. Others are volatile. Some are both. Oh, yes, the damage there. Well, the landing here in Targos was somewhat bumpy, and it took some time to put out the flames and mend the wooden frame. And, of course, there were all those potions that shattered in the crash and caused those nasty fires on the northern side of town. Fortunately, all the residents had already fled at my approach, so it was only a matter of time before the flames died down and we could approach the ship. Quite a mess, but we got it all sorted out. Oh, well, now that's another story. Had to fashion a spell of my own to mend the ship. Oswald's Mending, I call it. Quite catchy, I think. Getting the components for it can be quite exhausting, let alone remembering them. Wrote it all down in a book in the lab. Hmm, let's see. There's spider silk. Fresh spider silk, mind you, not old. Belladonna paste. Crushed diamonds. Some thrim extract. A little bit of iron ore. Some wood, of course, unless you crashed on a house or near a big tree, in which case that isn't a problem. And, um, well can't remember the last bits, but I have it all written down. Very true, very true. Can't see this airship crashing any time in the near future. Sturdy as a rock. Well, of course they can. Just get a giant to throw them, and even the larger stone will fly like a bird. A very heavy bird, mind you, with no wings, but the principle is the same. Why, I live in Kaldahar with my niece, Marily. I mean, well, I set up shop there after I landed in town. Well, crashed, really, but that's neither here nor there. There's an awful lot of mountains around Kaldahar. Very confusing to fly through, or around. It's hard to steer the ship when I'm in the lab, I've discovered. Oh, yes, merrily. Quite the fiddlebender as fiddlebenders go. She's growing like a quick weed. She's almost up to my knee. Redemption be done.
Speak your mind at once. Yes? Obviously a job for one as remarkable as myself. Agreed. at once. Speak. How can I help? It shall be done. forward. Can I serve? Forward. It shall be done.
Of course. Strange you ask this of me over these others? No? Yes? Onward. Agreed. There is none better than I. Certainly. Speak your mind very well. It shall be done. Agreed. I am here. Very well. Very well. Onward. Who are you? If you're one of the mercenary companies, then your place is at the docks, not here. I've received word we're under attack, and every sword is needed at the cliffs. Whoever you are, if you want to serve Targos, then you'd best have brought me word of what's happening at the docks. Rumors are flying through the streets, and the people are in a panic. I need information, and I need it now. That's the first piece of good news I've heard since these raids began. You've done well, and are to be commended for your efforts in Targos' defense. I would ask you to excuse my rudeness when you first arrived. These goblin raids have been chipping away at my patience, and they could not have come at a worse time. I need to know how these goblins were able to reach the docks without being detected. There was no warning from the Palisades and they were not sighted passing through the main town. Damn it! I ordered those caves sealed not long after we drove the smugglers from Mayor Dwalden, but it seems those goblins sniffed them out anyway. What concerns me is that sapping takes time, even if they were able to break into the old smuggler tunnels. That kind of effort takes planning, and it means the goblins had to be kept focused for weeks, perhaps months. 
These raiders are more organized than I suspected. As you no doubt already know, a force of goblins has gathered in the region, and they have been testing our defenses. They are well armed and well organized. Their attack on the docks is proof of this. At first it was just a few raiders, a stray arrow over our walls in the night. Then a merchant caravan from Bremen was attacked on its way to Targos. I sent two of my best scouts out to track down the attackers, but they could not find the goblin encampment. Then a band of goblin raiders attacked the walls of Targos itself, an act almost unheard of. We drove them off, but there were casualties, and the attack has forced me to take measures to strengthen Targos' defenses. I ordered the construction of a palisade and several small catapults outside the town, supervised by the commander of the Targos guard, Shawford Crail. Yes, you'll report to him for your orders and your wages. Time is short and there is much to be done. Your station will be at the Palisades beyond the North Gate. I will send the Gate Guard instructions to let you pass. Very well, but time is short. Inelia and Braston, two of my best scouts. They've been gone for almost a ten day without a word, and I'm worried that they may have run across the goblins. Still, they've survived worse so I hold out hope for their success. No word yet on when they will arrive, but a force is on their way. Until then, we'll have to deal with the goblins as best we can. As you know, a force of goblins has gathered in the region, and they have been testing our defenses. They are well armed and well organized. Their attack on the docks is proof of this. The best? It seems simple enough. Ready and waiting. Agreed.
Yes, what do you want? Very well, but time is short. At once. It shall be done. Very well. Ah, welcome back. Something I can help you with? A potion to put some color in your... How can I help? Agreed. How can I serve? Very well. Very well. your mouth forward forward Welcome back. Something I can help you with, ship? Oh, you mean this one here? You mean my airship? Yes, most ships travel upon the water. Ah, welcome back.
forward. At once. At once. It shall be done. How can I help? Of course. How can I serve? Agreed.
speak your mind. Of course. Forward. Onward. Point me to a fight. Your command? I am here. Forward. Of course. Agreed.
Ready and wait. It shall be done. How can I help? How can I sell? Of course. It shall be done. your mind at once.
forward. Of course. At once. forward. It shall be done. Agreed. Very well. Of course.
It shall be done. Mm-hmm. 